Hello, this is Dave Manny with Screen. Um, today I am at Art Negative and we're going to give a print demonstration of their brand new HD advanced printer with uh, the advanced drying system. So we're going to fire up a job here at 150 meters a minute, which is equivalent to 492 um, feet per minute. And we'll walk you through the printer and the systems and uh, show you some of the bells and whistles as it, as it gets along to print here. So right now, uh, the printer is warming up and it's preparing to uh, get ready to print a job. I have the black printhead array opened up right now so we can watch it uncap, come down on its z-axis and it's going to begin to print on the paper when it gets up to speed. One of the nice functions of this is that uh, with the z-axis uh, this can print on substrates up to 12 point paper. Um, the max uh, thickness in the press is 0.3 millimeters. So with the printhead array coming up and coming down, not just being on a z-axis, um, it can print on thicker substrates and it can print on thinner substrates. So it gives a lot of variability. So a little movement with the printhead right there. What's gonna happen is as the print gets ready, it's gonna drop close to being down to the print position and you hear the capping unit on cap. When the paper movement starts up, it's going to try to get uh, whatever bubble out of the paper before it prints um, so that we don't have paper hitting the printhead unit when it starts up. And right now with the printer starting up, it's going to do one little drop down once print begins. Um, some of the nice functions that really keep quality looking good and in register on both printers are some subsystems that we have. Um, one of them is a series of sensors called Dynamic Nozzle Checker, and it looks at the edge of the web, and it does cross-web adjustments, even at speeds this fast, to keep quality in control and looking good. Um, going down the line here, the steering unit assembly, which is in both printers, is taking the web coming in and steering it and putting exactly where it should be underneath our print head units. So as it travels under black and cyan, and then under magenta and under yellow, uh, the, the web is in very, very good register through this process at very high speeds on different substrates. Um, what makes this unit the advanced would be the drying system. Now, this unit here is actually having the paper pass through this dryer three times to achieve uh, no cockling, um, no picking. You can put down a, a decent amount of ink on very thick paper at high speeds and not have to worry about um, quality degrading or ink coming off in the machine. So this dryer can really, really handle a lot of ink and it can handle thin paper um, without cockling. And if we look at the paper path through here, that's achieved through the paper passes over top of a series of sub rollers. So it heats the outside first. Then it comes and heats on the drum, again on the outside, and then it does a third pass after the ink is already set on the opposite side of those rollers. So when it exits, uh, the, all the ink is set very, very well on the page. So uh, this system here is the advanced dryer and it works very well. Before the paper enters engine two and goes into the turn bar, it actually will go through two chiller rollers to bring the paper back down to ambient temperature after being heated up in the unit. Um, also, engine one has an inspection system that we'll see on engine two that's capturing all the images going by to make sure the data looks good. So, chiller unit number one is right here. The paper then hits the turn bar assembly where it flips it before it enters the second engine. And then it enters another chiller unit to be able to make sure that the paper is cooled back down to ambient temperature when it's coming into engine two. Engine two steering systems and nozzle shift systems are identical to engine one. They're all rear justified. So we can walk down to the end of printer two to look at how it's maintaining data integrity. This jet detection system on the press here is looking at our images from side one and side two. It's recording the images and we can go in from an operator standpoint 
and zoom around on the image to make sure it's looking good at speed. But on top of this, it's actually capturing these images as well and storing them over on the Jet Inspect system as it prints. So if we have any errors or anything that's critical in any fields, it'll capture it for us for us to be able to create a log file. It's a very, very powerful inspection system. Uh, on top of the inspection system itself, there's also barcode readers that are looking at the data from engine one and engine two, and as it's going by, it's capturing and making sure that the data integrity is correct between both engines. So if we were to have variable data that did not match, the system again would give us errors and make sure we couldn't let bad data pass. After it goes through the inspection system and the barcode system, it goes through yet another chiller unit in the back of engine two, and the point of that is to ensure that when the paper's coming out hot and at speed, when it goes on to our rewind system, um, we don't have any issues with any offsetting or again, any picking. So it's cooling the printer da paper down one more time. And it's allowing it to completely get the paper on the roll and prevent uh, offsetting, especially on some thicker stocks like nine point or coated papers. And that was it, I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs>